Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to put any person into any background using GIMP. So, this is what I've done with Peter Griffin in Times Square. So, um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up GIMP. And whenever you open up GIMP, make sure that you have a background image and you have a picture of a person that you want to put in that image. So, once you've opened up GIMP, let me move this over here, go up to File and click on open. Now you should see a list of the pictures. Go ahead and find the picture that you want to open as your background. Mine's Times Square. I'll click open. And now you want to go ahead and find your person. So go once again up to file, open, and find the picture of the person that you want to insert into your background and click open again. Now the person uh, that is going to be in your picture is opened up as a separate window and whenever uh, the window opens up there should probably be a background with your person mine doesn't because it has uh, gray squares behind it but if it does go up to this lasso tool it's called free select tool and draw a line around the person so that whenever you copy it onto your background you only get as much as this line is so whenever I draw like a circle around Peter Griffin that is the only part of him that is going to be copied the rest of it is just going to be um, just left behind. It's probably, it's a lot easier than just copying it onto the paper or onto the different picture and then having to erase it all. Um, so once you've drawn a line around it, go ahead and up, click on edit, copy, and go to your background and click edit, paste. So here's Peter Griffin right here. And once you've, uh, you've, uh, copied your picture, there should probably still be sort of a background around your person. Click on the erase tool and you can go ahead and erase the background that's still remaining. You can zoom in with the magnify tool. Let me undo that. And okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and edit the size of your person so it goes along with the rest of the picture. So you can click on the move tool or the scale tool. Let me go and click on the scale tool. You can scale your person down or scale your person up, doesn't really matter. But if you have a really small picture of a person, scale them up, their face is going to get really pixely. So um, do be aware of that. And you can move your person wherever you want by doing that. And you can flip the direction that they're facing like this. You can do a bunch of stuff with your picture. And once you've finished working with your picture, go up to File, Save As. You can name it whatever you want, but after you've named it, make sure it says .jpg at the end of it. Let me click my desktop, and I'll save it into my desktop. Click Export, and drag your quality to 100, and click Save. So now you have your picture saved wherever you saved it. And here is what we've done. And there's Peter Griffin in Times Square. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message. Thanks.